All right, what's up, losers? Here we got the man himself in the Wrangler. Uh, what are we about to do? We've got some absolute camping that's about to go down. So we got the surfboard on top. It's slightly off center. <laughs> that's okay because nothing's perfect. That's kind of the beautiful abstract things in life. Nothing's really perfect, which makes it just even more perfect. We nice. got the barbecue in the back. We got some camping gear. Got a tarp that had a dead frog on it, so it smells kind of bad. We got the six socks and sandals. <laughs> we got the gym shorts. On. Bro's not even wearing socks. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So plan for the day. Gonna do some grocery shopping. Get some stuff for this camping trip and just be fucking sick, lads. Gonna tear it up at sandbanks. Gonna do a bit of surfing. Gonna shred some gnar, bro. It's gonna be devious. What else we gonna do? It's gonna be fucking units, man. I need to transition. That's the plan. All right, what's going on, lad? What's going down? So uh, currently, we're just figuring out the address. You know, we've got all of our stuff packed. We're uh, about to go. You can see we got some stuff in the boot here. In and, the uh, boot here. Yeah, we're we're about to make our way. We just have to find the address. So I just gotta find that form that they sent me. Aha! I found it. Word. Okay, so I'll put in the address, I guess. Or actually, do you want to put in the address? I'll put it in. Sweet. Check that shit. We got the tents and everything. Mine's pretty decent. Check it out. Oh, whoops! I forgot the switch. Wait, what was it, sir? Just the stars and the moon. Damn. Damn. Quite, quite beautiful. See all my Tinder notifications? It's just like, <laughs> come back! There's masses to be <laughs> That made. new pick is fire! Yeah. It's like, right, there's, there's it somebody again? waiting for you. Yeah. Uh, 3004, County Road 12. Uh, something's well, wrong. In. Something's really wrong. With what? Oh, <laughs> oh my... Dude, it's always... Oh. You smell awesome. Thanks, man. <laughs> what a guy. I thought you were going to say awful. I was about to <laughs> shatter yeah, you man. smell like... You can't say that to an Italian, bro. Actually, I'm just Canadian. I stopped calling myself Italian considering I've never been to Italy. Yeah, I gotta stop calling myself a native. Considering <laughs> <laughs> you never face any hardship. Sorry, dude. That's not that one. <laughs> no, man, I got bullied at school once. That is true, actually. I can confirm that. I was I there laughing for them. Just two dudes, four nipples. Just honestly, why? Avoiding road closures. Love to hear it. Two hours, 36 minutes. Gonna get there at 148. That's ideal. Our check in's at two, so that's perfect. Dude, we're actually smashing life. Mm hmm. Pulling the pants off. Whoops, I was drunk to the ditch, <laughs> brother. You're pulling the pants off life is what I was trying to say. Dude, he was just so ready. Absolutely spanking this shit. Okay, so I think there's gonna be waves at sandbanks, dude. So that means I'll be able to surf. So I hope you guys know that the stoke is building up in me. I'm about to erupt like a horny volcano, bro. Just for reference, I think that the place we're going is probably one of the better surfs that we can get within like a 10 hour radius yeah. of this area. Is that kind of accurate? Yeah, I'd say it's second best. Second best. What's the best then? Concurden. Ah, fair enough. So uh, it should be pretty sweet. Although when we went to King Carden last time, did you ever catch any good waves? no waves. Yeah. I've caught waves in King Carden, but uh, the, the, uh, the, the fucking, uh, um, <laughs> fuck dude, I'm blanking. The conditions have to be good. I was looking for that word. Let's just let the man drive. It's <laughs> hard <laughs> <laughs> doing the most. Why is my light on in the back? All right, man, what's going on? All right, it's crack a lock and ding dongs. You gotta yell a little though. Uh, so we just made it to our first en route. The surfboard has stayed on the roof the entire drive home. Or home. Sorry, the entire drive to the campsite. Put my hair up in a bun because I look like a wet sock right now. Gonna go grab some Red Bulls. Not a whole lot going down right now. A little pit stop. I almost just threw your camera. Yeah, I'm sorry, you bro. Say something. Um, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Where are we at right it's now? Happening, cunts. So we we just pulled up to this native gift shop, and I've never like been to a place like this. And I just found out I was native like last year, so I've been massively overcompensating by making it mostly my personality. So we're hopping into this gift shop, and I might pick up some. Dude, I gotta take a picture of that. Actually, it's not bad if I take a picture of that. Uh, maybe, nah, man, that's your birthright, bro. I'm not native, bro. Anyway, so we're gonna go into a native gift shop and see what we can find. I'm actually kind of stoked for this, man. And you should see all the dispensaries that are on. We got like seven dispensaries in a five mile, like five. See how many we can look at right now, all right? So we got, whoa, the exposure, gosh darn. All right, we got one, okay? There's another one right over there. Oh, shit. There's two right over there. We got three over there. Bananas, mate. Dude, I'm stuck. 
All right, we got this sick bridge going here. It's almost like that one highway in America. What is it, like Route 44 or some shit? It's like extremely long. Like you can see like, the all American fans are gonna know. Shout out that one guy who, ha who loves Drew's videos. That guy's my OG, man. Yeah, we're driving through some in-between towns. It's looking pretty sweet, not gonna lie. This we're like, uh, we're almost at the coast. It's hella native territory too. I picked up this fresh, this kick-ass pink earring at that native store we just went to, and I got a sick little bracelet. Lads and ladettes, we made it. We're here at the sandbanks. Only downfall so far is there's not one single wave. But I ain't stressing. Name me one person who's less pressed than I am. Probably can't. <gasps> I'm whipping out the hairline. You know I got that propane tank. For three seconds. <laughs> Shocking. I'm going. Huge. Ideal pitch book, too. <laughs> Already sticky. This is amazing. <laughs> Cock and balls. Alright, we made it to the banks of the sand. Oh, feels good to be in nature. Just getting acclimated with the outdoor air. Just feels good, you know? I already feel way less tense, and I'm not even a tense person. Just taking a deep breath in the sun right now. We're all gonna be okay. All gonna make it. You got here five minutes ago. He's <laughs> <laughs> already in his feelings. Thanks. Yo, what's up, guys? Me amo T Bone, the Arana Discoteca, Discoteca. La Biblioteca. Whenever I get, like, just in a green surrounding, I'm just a whole different dude. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag I nut to nature, bro. Feels good. Anyways, we're gonna go get some groceries and get this party started. We got the tent action going down. On Earth. Nice and flat. Where do you Where are you thinking? If the fire's right there, mm -hmm. maybe like right on like this, like in the three trees here, or like maybe right here. Either right there or there. Hmm. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. There's a hole in our boat. Fixed it! Hatch. About to marry this man for his outdoorsy skills. All you need, if you're ever trying to survive in the wilderness, I can teach you how to survive using only a couple of rocks, um, maybe a good sharp stick, and a roll of duct tape. And also like a cell phone, a lighter, probably a propane tank, some clothing maybe. Probably a hotel one of the pop-up tents. <laughs> this one was $109 for Walmart, so it's pretty easy to get in a survival situation. Like if you're budgeting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> budgeting survival hacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just found my first puff ball. Damn, that's it's actually kind of gorgeous. Yeah, check it up. It's actually crazy. I feel that. Damn. Yeah. It feels like it could be bouncy. Right? Bro, I listen to that. Ball. Listen. So we just gotta refrigerate this bitch ASAP, and that's like good to go, bro. That's amazing. I'm not gonna eat it raw though. Maybe there's another one that's been murked over here. Yeah, dude. Do you have any plastic bags? No, just garbage bags. <laughs> Snapped up for the gram. Yeah, that's crazy. I know, right? Isn't this? I just saw one in the back there. I was like, I wonder if I can find one, dude. The sheer volume of this. Damn, and it's so smooth. I know. Not a single piece of acne on it, dude. I, no, dude. All right, yeah. You know what? That made up bag. for changing campgrounds and refrigerate <laughs> that, John. That's so huge. Are you your ass about it? All right, fresh out the washroom. <laughs> we just absolutely dropped uh, a decent one. Oh, <laughs> man, just dropped his dart as well. We're, uh, we're about to head to the beach. We took a little bit, not gonna lie, we had some technical difficulties. Yeah, we got there on campground, so the rent cops came in and had to kick us out. Some uh, water on the side, you know? <laughs> got that some... little dart. Nah, it's a cigar, bro. Cigar. I don't smoke cigarettes. My apologies. C cigars it's are... someone else's, he just found it on the ground. Yeah, just making sure it doesn't go to waste, you know?
All right, bro. What's up? Over me, I just felt like I got baptized. That was biblical. What's going on, people? So, just went in the water and it feels zen as fuck. And I was kind of thinking like being back in the water, life always has this awesome way of working out. I think um, obviously there's situations where probably you should apply a bit more stress to it because you need to get shit done. But for the most part, for things that are out of your control, just, just submit. Just kind of like fuck off the worry. Don't worry about it. That's two ways of saying don't worry about it. You start worrying, that's how you get wrinkles and gray hairs and a receding hairline. I used to worry a lot and now my hairline looks like this. And then I tried Rogaine, and it still looks like this. I don't know, I'm just kind of super zen out right now. Touching water is like touching grass. It's, touch, it's, like, it's like waking up in the morning next to a bakery and smelling that sweet, sweet smell. Of it. It's like <laughs> your man making banana bread. Nan puts the man in banana bread. Y'all got any words of wisdom for the cameras? Okay, I'm just gonna see that Yo, act surprised on three. One, two. <laughs> that almost worked. <laughs> Damn. Do I have anything? Oh, planted. Shit, so it's my turn to spit this wisdom? Yeah. You know, I've always been a talker. Talking about everything, I'm always describing things, you know? Like I coach like flips and stuff and I'm always describing to the kids how to do stuff. But the older I get, the more I experience, the places I go. I start to really just value, you know, the merit in repetition, you know? I think that doing the thing is a lot more valuable than talking about how you should do the thing. So I guess here I am doing the thing. It's a big ass inflatable unicorn over there. All right, so here's some tips for getting birds. So, don't be desperate. When you reek of uh, desperation, you bring an air of desperation to you to the interaction, and they can normally sense that. So, go into there with no pressure on any outcomes, no expectations of anything. Just try to meet them and have an interaction with them that leaves them making their life better because you're that sick of a person. Secondly, if they don't like you and they don't or and they do reject you, it's not personal. Just because you're a sweet peach doesn't mean everyone likes peaches. So it's not personal, just crack on. Don't have a scarcity mindset and don't have a shortage of birds either because when you like talk to one girl, you're never the only guy she's talking to. She's gonna be talking to loads of guys. So don't go and like flirt with loads of girls by any means, but always have female company in the sense that you have female friends because then you're just in a place of a lot less desperation. Just don't be a creep. That also helps to be mildly attractive. Wash your ass. <laughs> That's all I got. That's gonna be the ending one. <laughs> All right, yeah, we trek into the woods right now. There's wilderness, no cars in sight, no roads closer for a thousand kilometers. Yo, look back at me, bro. You got any wisdom? Um, come to Sandbanks, bring bikes and or a car, and also make sure to bring your wilderness survival kit. We're trekking out deep into the woods right now. We're gonna see if we can survive for the next eight hours on nothing alone but firewood. Wish us luck. We got that double towel backpack wrapped. He's in the Gucci flops right now. <laughs> we off. We on island time right now. She. You're like a proper native. <laughs> we made it. After a 40 minute hike carrying that bag of wood on our back. We got the crib. We got the Ronas. We got the fire cooking up over there. About to lay, absolutely lay it down on the barbecue. Shoot ya.
Ik ga het niet meer zien. 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 Ik ga het So from my five minutes of YouTube research, oh, I did not mean to take that chunk out. When you're looking at a puffball, you're looking for no larvae, which I don't think there are any. It smells quite mushroomy, but apparently the taste is quite cheesy, which can be kind of cool. I just realized I was talking to my phone, not the camera, my bad. Anyway, so I sliced this up. Drew kind of manhandled it a little bit earlier and like basically just like took out massive chunks. <laughs> Anyways, what's interesting is that the bug larva, they actually start at the patch. And so you can see here, there's like slight discoloration at the patch. We can just easily remove that. So I'm gonna go ahead, just gonna put some of the scraps over here for a second. It's very flaky, I'll give it that. Don't know why I said that like a compliment, <laughs> but it cuts like fucking butter. Look at that. Oh, let's not put that with the food. Well, I mean, it's edible still. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just cutting out all the bad patches, basically, so that it can't get the chance to spread. Hmm. Just like that. It's kind of like, it's nice and homogenous inside, which is really good. You can see it's like the same texture everywhere. Cuts super easy. It's kind of like, it almost feels like a slightly deflated volleyball with a little bit of water. Like one you leave in the pool or something and like you come back after a season, you know? Anyway, so we got some decent chunks from that. So I'm gonna retire that John now. Now we got about one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we got some solid chunks over here, so I ain't pressed. So our plan, I'm gonna throw this one. Oh. Our plan is to cook this shit up. And I hear that sometimes it has like a slight cheesy flavor. So we're gonna try and put it on our burgers. We got some burger chefing up over there. Hold on, let's see if I can get that man. That's uh, the guy right there, or at least his silhouette. He's about to chef up some fire ass burgers. Got a, of course a Pabst Blue Ribbon. Uh, shout out to that sponsor. The beer of choice, mate. Absolutely. Now that's a, that's a breakfast beer right there. Our, uh, our fire has currently gotten murked. As you can tell, there is none. Look at those bad boys. The texture on that, John. Mm. Do you mind? I'm trying to film a YouTube video. What's going on, lads and ladettes? It's crack a lack of family ding dongs. We made it to a second beach. Check this shit. We got some vegetation. Oh, I juiced my foot. I had my air cast in my Jeep, so you know, I had to throw that back on because I think I refractured it. Nothing crazy. Look at all those dunes. I don't know if you can see that. I kind of just restyled the camera angle, but we're basically just chilling up on a dune right now. Just absolutely kicking it in the UV rays. Getting photosynthesized. You're kind of dead today. Yeah. <laughs> That's code for you, yeah, mate. This sun is actually incredible. A bug just landed on my foot. You know how they say a picture's worth a thousand words? Well, this word is worth a thousand pictures. Yo, look at the kid in the Spider-Man costume. Full on spandex. <laughs> That's amazing. He fell too. I have no idea if this is in focus or not. Anyways, what's up guys? So we're about to take off from this little campsite. We're getting kicked out pretty soon, so we're just wrapping up, putting all of our stuff away. Um, you know, putting stuff in the back of the Jeep. Uh, Drew spilled my monster earlier, which is kind of pissing me off. Oh, you spilled your own monster, bro. He was like swinging his stick around, and he knocked over my monster energy. But it's all right, because you know I paid for it in the first place, but it is what it he is. He knocked it over himself, that wasn't me. Don't believe it. You have no evidence? <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to whip out my nipples on camera. We just chilled at the beach for a while, secured a few birds. By secure birds, I mean I got one of their hair ties. Yeah. And she didn't seem happy about it. <laughs> but her friend laughed at a joke I made, so. He did offer to return it, but she said nah. So I don't know what that means, so maybe if you're a girl, you can in the comment section um, discuss whatever flirting tactic that is, because I don't know, man. I don't either. Women scare me. So I'm just wrapping up my bed here. Weirdly damp. Yeah, you were sweating a lot last night. I ripped ass once, bro. Man can't rip ass one time in the comfort of his own tent. I think it's due. 
That's kind of gross. I was also sweating when I was hungry earlier. What's up, Snapchat? We, uh, I'm in some middle ground here. We, uh, we pulled up to some gas station because we had to pee. We're driving back because, uh, the weather wasn't permitting the best and Drew kind of messed up his foot somehow. Yeah. So, <laughs> the waves were not actually ideal. Homie kind of botched his stuff. What's going on, people, lads, ladettes, all of the above? Whatever you so happen to prefer to call yourself, welcome. As you may be, <laughs> I look so short. We just finished Sandbanks. We didn't really get any closing videos because apparently for some reason, going to bed late, then sleeping on the ground, then waking up at the ass crack of dawn makes you tired. So we didn't really get any closing videos, but now that I'm well rested, I was just hopping on here to say, I hope you enjoyed the slight bits and bobs we got up, got up to, the slight little bits of debauchery, the absolute wisdom bombs that we dropped, and Oh, we never reviewed that mushroom, but we just cooked it on the barbecue without any like seasonings or we just kind of just domed it raw well, after we cooked it a little bit. And honestly, it was actually pretty good and we're still alive, so it was edible. So that was my first time, both of our first times eating a mushroom that we both picked uh, and just eating a wild mushroom. So that was pretty sweet. So, if you see Jack Buff Balls. I would suggest eating them. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the outro. See y'all in the next one. Deuces.